Hey guys, and welcome back to The Fans Perspective. And in today's video, I want to recap on what I did yesterday. So I worked on the Vanarama National League Playoff Final. And as you can see, for those of you who do not know, Notts County left it late. And after a last gasp equaliser, not only in normal time, but in extra time as well, they won on penalties against Chesterfield to have them win the playoffs and get promoted to League Two. Now, as I was working, doing a lot of media roles as a member for the Vanarama National League, I was not able to actually fully record a match vlog but during the game and in the proceedings after which including interviews and obviously pitch side content I was able to record some content for you guys which I'm going to recap on this video obviously some was landscape some was portrait hence why I'm recording in this manner and um, yeah if you do like this sort of content and you want to go through my day in the life of working for the National League I will try and make more content like this in future events I work on but yeah smash that like button if you do enjoy this sort of content subscribe Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. We're slowly approaching 4,000 subscribers, which will be a really big goal of ours. I love every single one of you. Leave a comment down in the comment section if you watched the game, or if you want to ask me anything, I'll try and reply to absolutely all of them. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Despite it being a really momentous and interesting occasion for me, I'll quickly skip through the start of my day because I can imagine it'd be quite boring for you guys. So despite it being a 3.30 kickoff, we arrived to the stadium at around 10am. We were given our press accreditations, as you can see. I'll blow out the QR code. Um, but yeah, so once we had that, we were shown around the stadium, introduced things like the trophy, the medals, and obviously all around the whereabouts of where we'll be uh, well, doing the media work on the day. And then before we knew it, once we'd given other people their press accreditation, or the media teams and people from BT Sport, people from the clubs, etc. It was 3.15 and it was time to go up to where else but the press box to watch the game. And, well, what a beautiful sight. The overall turnout of the game, it actually ended up being 38,000 or just over that, which is absolutely astonishing amount for a National League playoff final. And Chesterfield, despite having around half the numbers of Notts County, they were really loud and proud of their club. And they, they were really singing in their numbers, as you can see here. Enough talking about the fans themselves. We then move on to the actual game. And well, it didn't take long for a bit of carnage, did it? We're literally one minute into the playoff final and there's an indirect free kick. Oh, I can't believe what's happening. You would have thought after that kerfuffle at the start, they would have learnt their lesson, but no, no they didn't. As you can see, Notts County, after the amazing season they have, they put themselves in another big bit of trouble, giving away a penalty after the keeper, Calamity of an error, takes out the attacker and gives Chesterfield an early opportunity to take the lead. It's fair to say I was rather excited at this minute of the game. It's been four minutes, they've had an indirect free kick and now they've got a penalty. Oh, the beauty of the National League. Despite being given the spot kick opportunity, he still had to put it away. So number 29 steps up for Chesterfield and slams it home, giving Chesterfield the opener and the crowd went absolutely mental. For about 10 to 15 minutes, you could not hear the Knotts fans. All you could hear was Chesterfield living in the moment and celebrating being ahead. Then there was a pretty big part of the game where, in my opinion, the quality did drop. There was a lot of chances, but no one was taking them. It was a real end-to-end -end football, and it seemed like even though both clubs were getting in the box, it was almost sort of a hit and hope. They were getting it in there, there was no one on the end of it, or when they did get on the end of it, they didn't know what to do with it. There was especially a moment which I actually did personally find really, really interesting. A moment on the far side from me, he body faints, sends his defender into next week and you think, oh, he's got to make something from it, just get it in the box, even go alone. And he somehow messed it up. It would have been one of the best goals I've ever seen at Wembley. It's just the fact he puts his weight on one side, sends the defender and, oh, he, it was amazing. Then for the second half, I thought, 
why not make the most of the opportunity? Move from the press box to the Bobby Moore seats. What better seat in the house than to stand right next to where both sets of players are coming out? Obviously, you saw Chesterfield. They look confident they want to retain the lead, but also not County after the season they've had. What was it? 107 points and not winning the league. It's absolutely crazy. It's a disgrace that the National League is not at least two automatic teams. But yeah, great seats and wow, you can tell I was absolutely loving it. For the majority of the second half, it was a really easy game, but you could see Notts County were piling on the pressure. They were getting the ball in and around the box, but it wasn't really working for them. And sadly, I missed it, but look what it means for the Notts County fans. Three minutes left, last gap, throw everything at it, and they've got an equaliser at Wembley. The players go wild, but obviously they had to keep it together, but there was still time to play. There was still so much more in this game, and we didn't even know it yet. I like to think this photo sums it up perfectly. Both teams have given it their all, but they're still huddled in their circle, still concentrated, trying everything to get the win for not only themselves, not only their careers, but more importantly, the fans that have come all this way to watch them. Then just three minutes into extra time, magic strikes twice. Chesterfield with this moment of absolute magic, striking it into the top right-hand corner. It was a beauty. Honestly, one of the best goals I've seen live. Curls it past the goalkeeper, and Chesterfield go mad again. They think they've done it again. What a goal! Oh, you then, just like it's done in normal time, heartbreak for the Spirites, elation for the Magpies. You can see what it means. He's screaming. He's loving life. He's just scored an equaliser at Wembley. And then the scores were level yet again at 2-0. There's been three minutes to go again. It's heartbreak. It's pure heartbreak. With the clock running down of extra time, you could see that their legs were gone. It was just down to who had the bottle, who wanted it more. And it was more of the story of the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. And yes, as the clock ran down, we went all the way to penalties. The most upsetting, the most tense, the most hard to watch thing in football. Who will win the penalty shootout and take themselves to Wembley? Well, luckily, I was able to get full on footage of the shootout. So here it is. Now I'm just going to stop it right there. After the substitute goalkeeper made two unreal saves to put Notts County within touching distance, one spot kick away from winning, it all came down to this. And I've got to respect it to have the absolute balls, the cojones, to pull this off on the siding penalty at Wembley. Oh my god. Oh my god. So that miss meant Chesterfield still were in the running. They still had an opportunity. If they scored and Notts County missed, they were going to sudden death. He thought he was Sedan. He thought he was Milo. He, he plays for the National League. It goes down to this. He scores, they win. He misses. We've got a sudden death penalty shoot on, baby. And there we have it. 
He completed every single football player's dream, scoring the deciding spot kick in a final at Wembley in front of your fan base. A tale of two completely contrasting emotions. The home fans, well, the Knots fans, they couldn't believe it. And you can just see in the eyes of the Chesterfield fans, they gave their all and it still wasn't enough. Losing the spot kick, their souls leaving their bodies. But, you know, that's how it goes at Wembley. Penalties are the cruelest thing in football and they are on their downside of it. Well, you guys know what comes next. They've won it. They've done it. They were speechless. I really enjoyed my day. As you can tell with this photo, I was able to work a final at Wembley with my mates. It doesn't really get much better than that. As you can see as well, the players were falling around. They thought they couldn't, they had nothing left. They'd given it their all. They had done it. And, uh, well, come on. The game's done. There's only one more thing to happen. Here you go. <laughs> Once the players had celebrated in front of the fans with the trophy, it was now their time to celebrate privately in the changing room, have a few drinks and have fun. But what I got to do was a really, really insightful bit of work. I was able to be in the press conference for the managers both post-match. And I just think it was really nice because both managers said some really interesting words, not only about the game, but about each other and the league. And yeah, starting with Chesterfield boss and then moving on to the Notts County boss, here are some of parts of the interviews that I got to take part in post-match. I think the bigger football world obviously is protecting themselves and looking after themselves. The league above us, three teams go up automatically and four play off. So there's four teams go up. I've never known that like and having dropped into the league to help Chesterfield to actually see it first hand when there's a lot of teams in the league, it's a very competitive league. It's wrong, it's not right, it's not correct. It's heavy sport and arbitration or sport people should look at it. That's not sour grapes from me because we wouldn't have gone up. We'd have probably been playing Club A today. But when you get a team like Notts County and get 107 points and not promoted, that's simply not right. We, we all accept that if you want to um, be a successful team, you have to have many sides to your character. And we've had plenty of games where we played uh, a really controlled tactical game of football. We scored the first and the second goal and then we put the game to bed. But it's not enough on its own. And, and we're, we're able to show Resilience, we're able to dig in and be tough and periods of the game where we people just have to put their body on the line, make tackles and headers. So I think we've shown that we can do pretty much everything at this level well enough to, to be successful. So finishing off with this collection of photos, you can know obviously I try and be serious, I try and get some work done. And obviously it's all about what getting the best possible quality work. But at the end of the day, I love football so much. It's practically my life and you can see what it meant to me yesterday. I wanted to make this video to recap on the day and just give you my insight, the day of my life of what it's work like to work backstage at Wembley. Like I said, if I do go to any more events or I do get the privilege of working on things like this again, I'll try and get some more content, obviously depending on what is allowed to be recorded and yeah if you do like this sort of content like i said at the start please smash that like button can you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when a video goes live you don't want to be the last person you don't want to miss any content do you i'm trying to put out as much content as possible i've got a champions league prediction coming up oh who's going to win the champions league semi-final second leg i've got europa league predictions coming up i'm not going to spoil them either i've got a lot more content coming in the next coming days coming weeks i'm going to be trying to get to some football matches in the near future hopefully i can get to at least one more game before the end of the season fingers crossed leave a comment down in the comment section i'll try and reply to every single one of them and without further ado thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one see ya